One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, what did I get up to? Spoiler alert, 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 spoiler alert. Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of How Many? The only podcast that counts. Ah, really <laughs> the only podcast that really counts. Yes. Really counts. Very nice. I love so it. recently, Bob uh, went through the trying ordeal of coming up with a new tagline for our podcast, and um, it went along with our new image because we were tired of excluding uh, Matula from <laughs> every group picture we had. That was not what you said in the cubicle era. <laughs> yeah. Me personally, I was kind of happy with the original image. But. No, all those terrible photoshops and me with the whole... <laughs> so, Bob um, spent hours and hours in his lab coming up with our new tagline. You want to go ahead and say it again, Bob? Yeah. Did you run this past that? How many, the only podcast that really counts? Get it? One, Get it? two, three. I like it. <laughs> It's okay. Did you run it past Absolutely. quality control? Kind no, of an oversell. It's Rob Southgate approved. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so, uh, thanks for hanging out with us, uh, all 100 of you. Yeah, so yeah. We looked at our download numbers, and we're solid. We're peaking at about what 120, 100 to 120. So a we've month. reached a centennial, huh? Yeah. yeah so, so I just I know we can hit 150 <laughs> in August. <laughs> Actually, I'm I'm predicting our numbers will go down due to that terrible tagline we've been forced <laughs> on. <laughs> wow. Um. So we do have a tradition here of how many. Uh, that we talk about movies and we talk about death. Those are our two favorite topics, movies and corpses. So today, we are going to talk movies. So Junior, take it away. Yes, so every year we try and do a recap of all of the movies of the previous years. But we found out in 2017 that it was way too long of a list to try and get it all jammed into one episode for the entire year. So we decided this time to go ahead and break it up into two parts. So now we are going to go ahead and look back at the movie starting in January of this year to our current time, which as of this date, we're recording it August 7th. Um, how, many, how many good movies have there been so far in 2018 from January to August? So that's about seven. Is Coco little on seven this Yeah, a little, <laughs> little over seven months total. Coco, what movie? No, I'm going to say, that Coco. I'm going to start us out. Let's do the Coco first. Coco wanted to know who this talking. Hang up, Jer. Coco Hang up, Bob. I can't, it's stuck. to win a small fight ball game. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Coco never became sexually active with George. But Coco wanted to bear George's sports baby. <laughs> There's still time. We were having such a great day until now. George is not engaging with Coco right now. <laughs> no. Engage, no. George. Coco need engagement <laughs> from George while Coco bide a time in his ah, Stop! And I, <laughs> stop. Then I call Lower Heaven. Okay, yeah, there you go, Lower Heaven. Engage. Coco you got them all in. The time of the month. Well, Coco want to talk Jordan Speed? <laughs> we can't. We got to talk to uh, Jay Novacek, so we got to let you go. We're up against it. <laughs> I'm going to say 28. So 28 for Jesse. Good movies. Now, well, this this is good. I was going to say, so it could be critical acclaim. It could be financially it did well. Um, it could be our personal opinion. Maybe right. it was one that didn't even meet the criteria of either. But we saw it and we thought it was a good movie. Yes. We will take personal opinion into account here. Oops. Yes. Sorry about that. Is it criteria or criteria? Both. Okay. <laughs> All right. The All right. Criterium Collection. Isn't that a collection of movies? Yes. Bob? Um, I think Jesse's probably in the ballpark. I'll, say, I'll go 31. 31. Okay. All right. Scott? Now, Scott, you Scott. have been in the past. <laughs> um, Literally, he's been in the past most yeah, of his life. He's Encino manned up. But um, <laughs> you, you had 
for a long time bragged that the last movie you had seen in the theater was Coco, Coco. which came out in November of 2017. <laughs> but since God then, we gave you a homework assignment, and we gave you the resources and the means to watch a lot of more recent movies than Coco. So you now come in prepared a little better, with more yeah. knowledge of movies that have happened since Coco, right? And I, I, and I went and saw one uh, a few weeks ago. I just don't remember what it was. <laughs> Boy, I really made it. <laughs> really on it was in it? No. Do you remember what it was about? Two hours. Were you awake? <laughs> <laughs> about two hours. <laughs> that is greatness. That is an old joke, but it's still a funny joke. Yeah, I, I, I used to work for a record company, and one of the things was we, we would sit in our, our sales meetings, and one of my sales managers one day walks in and says, uh, oh, we... we we got one of our, our songs featured on MTV's 120 Minutes. Which is and the alternative show they used to have, right? Where alternative rock was played. Right. Yeah. 90s. And we're sitting there talking about it, and he's like going, and he's, you know, expounding on it. And his big question was, but I'm not really sure how long the show is. Huh. And I just looked at him and said, it's about two hours there, dude. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I, I haven't seen a lot, but I did see one. I just don't remember what it was. Uh, I'd have to ask my wife. Well, that is still better but, than than Coco, right? So, give us your estimate now that you come with all of this extra all this power, extra and power, power at your disposal. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna say lower than that. I'm the eternal pessimist about movies. Um, that gonna, is true. You are a very harsh critic when it comes to. Counting what anything. He doesn't come alive. What, what's no. a really good movie? I, I'm going to say like 23. 23. Okay. And Junior, so, since it's your topic. So going into this, if I had not done the research, I probably, since I watch a lot of movies in the theater and outside of the theater, I probably would have been in the 40 range. Mm, wow. But again, I'm, I'm not as harsh. I'm, I'm not looking for an Academy Award winner every time. Right. I, I can get entertained by the stupidest of comedies, the dumbest of action movies, and I would still count that as being worth my time and worth my money. As opposed to Scott, who will, unless you want Best Picture, <laughs> you're not going to make the list. He'll have to tell you sometime his technique. He's got his own special version of Movie Pass. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll get to that later. So, All right, so now that we have all of our numbers recorded... Starting in January, let's go through January's movies, and you can let me know whether you want to count this movie or not. Um, so January, this is a movie we actually <laughs> talked about whenever we did our poker, how many. Molly's Game was released in January. Oh, that was this year? That was this year. Oh, that definitely so, counts. Do you count that one? I count that yeah, one. Yeah, that That's movie was great. Jessica Chastain, where she's running the underground poker room, which I have recently had my own version of Molly's Game in terms of playing in an underground poker room uh, within the last couple of months in a, in a super secret hotel room yeah. in a suite with a, a full menu, a chef on staff, free drinks, free booze, but a 10% rake, which is terrible. <laughs> wow. That's casino quality rake, but at least it's close by. But I, w- I would count Molly's. Yeah, the movie was good because it had really interesting plot. Some big names were in it. Yeah, Costner in it, huh? That Kevin Costner was in it. He played the dad in Molly's game. Yeah, yeah. Stringer yeah. Bell was in it. Michael Sarah had it, and he had lots of shake laugh. Yeah, that's the thing. It was funny, but it was it was real interesting. And she has never looked hotter than in that movie. And written by the great Aaron Sorkin. Yes. Directed and by directed the, by yeah. the great and Aaron based Sorkin. on a true story. Yes. So, so yes, definitely. So Jesse, I'm going to give it a thumb up because it's it is actually one that I thought. I'd, I'd like to see that. Well, you have been given the resources, I know. To watch <laughs> is, is that one on the, the... I'm pretty sure. All right, so the next movie in January, Insidious, The Last Key. Did anybody see that? The nope. continuation of the horror Insidious nope. trilogy. Nope. Okay. See, because uh, I can't see that because unless I know the ending, I'm not going to... Yeah, because you're on record as saying... You won't watch a horror movie unless you know the good guys win at the end. Right. <laughs> I'll only go see The Last Key if it's Keegan-Michael Key. Only. What? Okay. Not Keyshawn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so Insidious The Last Key does not count. Uh, the Post. That was released early January. 
Did anybody see that? We talked about that movie in yes. the Tom Hanks How Many, and we even force-fed it into the finals, sight unseen. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that a Ron Howard directed? Uh, I don't remember. Or was it Spielberg? It was one of them. It was one of those two. And uh, I have seen this movie. Yay! And it was really good. So was it... it well, did it warrant getting into the finals of our Tom Hanks um, tournament? Absolutely. I think, uh, especially with today's climate of everyone talking about how the press, certain people are saying the press is the enemy. Fake news. Yeah, certain people. Fake news, yes. Um, <laughs> Not so, to make this too political. but Yes, Whoa. and this talks about, um, you know, the the fight they had to do to publish the Pentagon Papers. So that's the one where he was sass-mouthing Meryl Streep, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you want to give that one a thumbs up? Oh, definitely. Bob? Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen it, but based on everything I've heard, I'd give it a thumbs up. Yeah, I'll give it a thumbs up, too, because I think it was nominated for Academy Awards. No, it it, it wasn't eligible, I don't think, was it, at that time? Didn't they have a cut? Oh, you know what? Yeah, I think you're right. No, but, you know, sometimes... Golden Globes, maybe, is what I'm thinking. Sometimes they have a limited release... And then they put Not, it out. And then the sometimes they have full release. Look at Bob. He's... <laughs> okay. I, and I would give it a thumbs up, too, because I did see... Um, uh, the Post? No. What was that movie? Man. The one you just saw last week? No, no. The one... Was it... Um, the, the All one? the President's Men. Oh, I've yeah. seen that one like oh. four times, so I'm assuming that this is probably pretty good. Very too. similar to that. Yes. It is. All right, cool. So that one's unanimous. Uh, the other thing one, it reminds me of like, is Spotlight, which I just that's recently the one I was trying saw, to think of. Which the one was with really the good. Catholic priest. The one with yeah, the Hulk was raging. Lots that of one. Yeah, and uh, and Batman was in it. Oh yes. yeah, Batman. So, that's right. yes. Ben Affleck. No, Michael, Michael Keaton. Keaton. The yeah. one true Batman. The one Christian true Bale was in it. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the next movie on the list, The Commuter, which was that Liam Neeson movie that where movie he was, was on the train. So stupid. Me and Bob watched that at the Dollar Movie. And I like that better when Steven Seagal played that part. Under Siege, the computer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought it was silly. It it had some decent action points at times, but yeah, I wouldn't fight hard for this one. No, I wouldn't okay. count that one. So that one's a no. Is everybody else? Yeah. I'm a big Liam Neeson fan. So. Yeah, me too. I wanted to yeah. like it, but it was kind of okay. dumb. I'll give it a commuted sentence. Oh. I'd say no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This one's uh, going to be an hour long if I have a layout. Yeah, it's <laughs> a layout. <laughs> you can edit uh, in the layout later. You don't have to do a real one. Uh, okay, so the next movie, Proud Mary, um, was that movie Keep with um, Taraji, uh, Taraji P. Henson. P. Henson where she's like a assassin or something. Um, I didn't see it. Did anybody see it? I don't even know about it. No. Okay, then that one's a no. So it was basically Kill Bill Withers? All right, next movie on the list, Paddington Two. Oh, I did see that. The, the animated movie. I've got kids. Oh, yeah, the, the animated movie yeah. with the bear that comes to life with Colin Firth. Who was it that mentioned Colin Firth? Oh, that was the ticket. Never mind. I thought when you now I actually have heard good things about Paddington. I have yeah. heard good things too. I've never saw as that far one as those original. as far as those kind of movies go. It's entertaining. Uh, okay. I'm sure it probably is. You want to give it a thumbs yeah. up? Yeah, I'll give it a thumbs up. Yes. All right. Yeah. I mean, they got really good reviews. They so got really good reviews. To help my number, I will give it a thumbs up. <laughs> You're padding to the stats. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I won't put the, the silence in that one. Dang it. I'll let that one run. Yeah, you laughed. You can't lay out on yourself. Um, the next one, Acts of Violence, which I think may not have been released in the theater. That's that Bruce Willis movie. That's kind of like Death Wish, except it was um, not Death Wish. Wasn't there a movie called that where um, what's this? Or Aragorn was History of Violence. Is having at it on the stairs. With Maria Bello. What is why? Yeah, that was a good movie, by the way. <laughs> um, I didn't see Acts of Violence. Anybody see Acts of no, Violence? No, I did not. All right, so that's a no. Uh, Twelve Strong. That's the movie with Thor and. Van, Van Alden, where they're in Iraq. That's right. They were riding the horses. Michael Payne. Oh, yeah, that. I saw that. Was it good? It was all right. I'd give it a thumbs up. Thumbs I'm not going to lobby for it, but I... I haven't seen it. That would be something I'd have to catch on TV. 
and just kind of go HBO. I mean, you're gonna any, HBO it. Any and all Van Alden is must see. Even Shape of Water. Yeah, Shape of Water had some some Shake Laugh in it. Jesse, did you see Twelve Strong? I did not. Uh, so we have a one. We have a vote of yes. Plus Michael Pena. That's always must. I didn't for you. see it. I don't want to Paddington the staff. How have you not? How do you ever not see a movie? You every, see everything. Every once in a while, uh-huh. I'll make an uh, an executive decision to not see a movie. I need to take Gary's stance of anything Van Alden. I can't watch. No, he his political hates, views. Yeah, he hates Van Alden because he says <laughs> he's all lived up. Okay, so you haven't seen it either. I have Scott. not seen it. Either. You know what? We're not going to count it. Your veto vote. Right. Uh, Den of Thieves. That was the movie with Ice Cube's kid and uh, King Leonidas, where um, they robbed the bank. Did you guys see this Gerard one? Gerard Butler. <laughs> it's got like King Leonidas. What are you talking about? Yeah, it was King Leonidas. It was uh, Ice Cube's kid. Uh, I forgot who else was in he it. He never saw 300. He only made it to about 150. It's Ice Cube's kid. <laughs> Is his name Chip? Chip. Ice Chip. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good shtick, actually. <laughs> I'm sorry. The Rocks Kid is called The Pebble. They talked about that today on the Oh, music. yeah, I did hear that. Wow, really? Yeah. So, um, I saw Den of Thieves. I thought it was pretty good. Did anybody else see it no. besides me? No. Okay, did not you know see what? It. We're not going to count it. Uh, Forever My Girl. Did anybody see that? I, I never saw that. No. I don't even know what that is. Uh, Maze Runner, The Death Cure, which is the third Maze Runner. No, yeah, those movies. I've seen the first two, but I did not see this one. They're beating. Big green screen. Although, the thing. villain in that movie. The two villains in that movie, one of them is Littlefinger from Game of Thrones, but the main villain is the mom from Sharp from Objects. Sharp Objects. Yeah. <laughs> Which we need to have a discussion about. Are you guys on board with Sharp Objects right now? I take them, but I have not watched them. No you, spoilers. Yeah, no spoilers, but they're, it's, good? It's, it's really good. What channel is it on? It's, it's on HBO. <laughs> so, the next movie is The Clapper. Did anybody see The, the Clapper? Clapper? That's the one with Andy Bernard where he is like... A prop in infomercial audiences, and all he's paid to do is clap. I never heard of this. I, it's an, indie, this it's an indie film that was released in January. If you didn't, I haven't seen it either. So I used to actually have the clapper. My grandmother gave it to me for Christmas one year. You know, they got a pill for that. No, not the clap. <laughs> <laughs> Your grandmother gave you the clap. No, the clapper. <laughs> well, that's pulled a lid off. <laughs> all right. So the last movie in January, Hostels. Which is we just the, did January. We're just this is the long. This is the most beating topic we do. This is going to take forever. <laughs> we'll, yes. we'll we'll speed round. Yes, we it. need. To I do want to see that. Hostels. Though. Hostels is good. Yeah, I want to see Hostels. Christian Bell movie. Um, it's a western. He's so fighting the Native Americans and he's trying to transport um, the main guy across. Right. To and his, it's got the hot chick from the first Jack Reach round in it too. Oh, uh, Rosamund Pike, Pike. Something yeah. Pike. Um, yeah, that was a solid movie. Um, I would say yes, Bob. Yeah, yeah, that was... Jesse, about... did you see Hostels? No. I want to see it. Jesse's already powered down. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll do an executive decision. Uh, hoster's choice. I will include Hostels. All right, so we'll start speeding through these a little bit faster for, for Jesse. For January, we have uh, to get Feb- to freaking August. February, <laughs> Winchester. Did anybody see I Winchester? Saw it. About the guns? It was, I saw it and it was spare. You, not good. I didn't see it. Did anybody else nope. see it? All right, so that one won't count. The, the Hawkeye or GTFO? <sighs> the mash joke. Okay. Yeah, I got it. I was going to do a supernatural joke. Oh, there you go. That's even better. Would you have gotten a supernatural joke? Yeah. Do you watch Supernatural? Yeah, Sam and Dean. Yeah, Winchesters. Isn't I that watch the, it on the, the band where the guy got his head No, off? that was Sam and Dean. <laughs> Dead Man's Curve. <laughs> <laughs> well, the last thing I remember, Doc, I started to swerve. And then I saw the jag slide into the curve. I know I'll never forget that horrible sight. I guess I found out for myself that everyone was right. Yo. Okay, uh, Peter Rabbit. Did anybody see Peter Rabbit? No, I didn't see Was Peter it any Rabbit. good? Not really. All right, so I didn't see it, so we won't count it. Uh, Fifty Shades Freed. Nope. <laughs> anybody see that? No. no. The 1517 to Paris. Actually, I think my wife went and saw that wow. Fifty Shades thing. That was the Oh, really? Movie. What did think she think? So. Uh, I never heard anything about it, so I'm thinking she probably wasn't all that impressed. Wow. We need, a, we need a full report from Mrs. G. I'll a full to, release. I'll, I'll ask her. <laughs> the, the 1517 of Paris is the Clint Eastwood movie about the guys 
that yeah. were on the train. Right. Right. But it was the actual guys. Yeah, that was That's a such little... a gimmick. Yeah. I never saw it, so... One of them was TBM. Either. Did you ever see the trailer? There's TBM running up the aisle after that dude. That's too inside. Who are you talking about when you mention TBM? Yes. Do the research. <laughs> All right. Uh, the, Check the manuscript. The female brain. Did anybody see the female brain? Definitely. That no. was that Whitney Cummings movie that has um, what's her face from Modern Family in it too. Julie Bowen. No, the Mexican one. Sofia Vergara. Yes, Ooh. she's in it. She's not Mexican. She's Colombian. <laughs> Whatever. Come on. <laughs> Same thing. Um, all right. So nobody saw that Black Panther. Yes. Yes. Right? Greatness. Yes. Everybody. Yeah. Greatness. Up. Scott, did you see? I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I would say top ten Marvel movie. I have to watch it. I, I think you that. could make the argument top five Marvel Ooh, wow. movie. Wow. And yeah. Um, I would be in the five to ten range. And I think we talked about that when we were doing our uh, Marvel Villains episode. Um, it hasn't changed. In fact, it probably went down a little bit because I think not only would I put Infinity War ahead of it, I may even put the second Ant-Man ahead of it. Yeah, and those you know, a after. lot of people... Uh, I've read that not as happy with the second Ant Man, and I was just as happy with it. Yeah, I, I it was like. Good. I think the second one might have been as good as the first one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that. They're kind of on par, but I think I like the first one better. Yeah. Okay. This is all foreign language to Scott. Well, I, I've seen the first one. <laughs> I oh, watched. I, yeah. I watched it on the TV. Good. good. All right. Uh, next one, Annihilation, which is I know one that you saw and I saw it. That was the one with Natalie Portman, where the aliens or take over the forest. And it's got that weird shimmer of light that covers the forest up. It, it wasn't bad, but it should have been better than it was. I was expecting more than it was. I, I don't have any recollection of this at all. It's based on this it, book series. It's a pretty well-known recent book, sci-fi. Yeah, and the, the plot is that inside the shimmer in that forest, the animals are like morphing together and they're like hi- becoming hybrids. Like there's a shark gator and a, but it's plants, a bear it's plants wolf. and animals and like living people, together people turn in trees it's kind of Mass weird hysteria. yeah I, so uh, i would be a thumbs up even though the only thing i didn't like about that movie was the, the music. Oh, music no the music is so annoying it's just loud screeching noises the whole time Can't stand that music, but is other than not that, enough, the movie itself is good. Not enough Valkyrie. Man, there's enough Valkyrie turning into Groot. <laughs> Spoiler. Um, okay, <laughs> so me and Bob are yes. I'm on the fence. I don't Chelsea? know. Didn't see it. Scott didn't see it. Okay, you know what? We won't count it. Um, Every day. Does anybody rem- remember a movie called Every Day? No. no right. No. Game night. Yeah, that's the one with Jason I've heard Bateman. That's pretty good. Yeah, Rachel McAdams. That looks interesting. It, it's good. Dr. I give Narcisse it a thumbs up. Was in it, yeah. Dr. Narcisse, the guy from Friday Night Lights, is in it. Isn't um, that based on a true story? Mm, I don't think so. Um, the story is way too outlandish. For no, I'm thinking of that tag movie. Tag oh, yeah, is based tag. on a true story, which yeah. we'll get to. Oh, a that's bit the one later. I'm thinking of. Um, so I give Game Night a thumbs up. Yeah, I'll Bob. give it a thumbs up. I yeah. want to see it. All right, so let's go ahead and say yes to that one. The last one, War with Gram- Grandpa. Did anybody see that? No. Never heard of it. Okay, so. Uh, going into March, Death huh? Wish. The Bruce Willis, I, the Bruce Willis movie. I never saw it. I saw it. I thought it was pretty good. Didn't we talk about this a minute ago? Yeah, Acts of Violence and Death Wish are pretty much the same movie. <laughs> um, anybody else besides me see Death no, Wish? No, I did not no, see it. No, but I would count it. Just it's um, you the know, Bruce Willis. yeah, Willis and it, I think it did pretty well in the box office. So okay, I would give it a yes. Okay. Uh, Red Sparrow. Mm, I wanted no. to see That's that. That's the Jennifer Lawrence did. where she's basically. The Black Widow from Avengers, the Russian spy. Right, and she's like, pretends she, to be a ballerina or something. She does whip them out. There is full frontal. Really? Oh, oh that's right, yes. Yeah. A little bit. Not really. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. She, she, she's out. Jennifer Lawrence does not do it for me. Oh, wow. Wow. That's big. Well, she's just, wow. I, there may be some pictures we can find online that could oh, I've change seen, your mind. I've seen them. <laughs> and, I, and it was... Oh, look at, look at Jesse. <laughs> he must be doing the research online right now. <laughs> <laughs> Looked like she was standing underneath a, a donut glazing treehouse or something. 
I think I saw them and went, who's that guy? <laughs> okay, so Red Sparrow, thumbs up, thumbs down. I didn't see it, but I'll give it thumb up based on... I, I, I saw it, and I thought it was decent. I, I'm... All right, um, A Wrinkle in Time. Yes. So, Jesse's a yes. I did not see it. That's I, the movie with Oprah I, Winfrey I and Chris it. Pine. So, I had heard people... Um, my former boss, Joel, took his daughter to see it mm-hmm. and, you know, for her birthday bunch of friends and he was just bored silly maybe because i love the book see as i think a kid yeah uh, you know and i just really liked it i thought that um you know it, it's a complicated story in the book even though it is for you know this was young adults before it was young adults um i was really happy with it and i think that the three miss witch and all that were good um, so yeah, yeah, the cast was good. So it has Mindy Kaling, a Reese Witherspoon. Right? Yeah, and Oprah, and and Captain Kirk is the dad. I, the trailers looked really confusing. I had no I idea mean, what's going on. I think Jesse's probably right. I never read the book, so it seemed a little out there to me. Plus, I didn't think the effects were all that great. But the 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 cast was pretty good. I I'm not going to vote. I'll, I'm going to ask. So I'm here. going to use the exemption. Jesse, yeah, Jesse exemption. I'm okay, Jesse I'm okay exemption. enough with it. I'm not going to protest. Did you see it, Scott? I did not. Okay. It, it did not look interesting. It wasn't to me terrible. At all. Okay, we'll we'll give Jesse uh, an one. exemption yeah, on this one. I, I just yeah, I was very happy. All right, uh, the next movie, The Strangers Pray at Night, which is a sequel to the original The Strangers. Joan from Mad Men was in that, right? Yes, she was at the trailer park, and they were throwing axes at her. And yeah, stuff. and that's basically hey, if you that saw happens. the original Strangers, it's a horror movie where these. People with masks show up. It's basically, at somebody's funny house. people or funny games or whatever. Funny, funny games. Yeah. Um, did anybody see that? I, didn't I, see I, 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 the original I seen like Darmody fifteen minutes of it, but yes. I didn't see the second one. No. Jesse, did you see The Strangers Pray at Night? Why am I even asking? <laughs> <laughs> um, the next one, Hurricane Heist, which is the movie oh, where the before it's across from the ballpark in Arlington. No, Hurricane Harbor oh, okay. is what you're thinking of. Uh, Hurricane Heist is that movie where the guys rob the bank and there's a hurricane slash tornado going at the same time. So, so all of the armored trucks go, woo <laughs> yeah. We're about to be crushed by the biggest storm of the century. Look out! I knew today was going to be... Let's load up. Ah! This is going to be harsh! What? Here comes the horse part. Here goes nothing. You better hope not. Let's get the money. That thing wants to swallow us whole. <laughs> um, I. The, the cast was not very well known. Uh, the brother from True Blood is in it. Oh, Jason Stackhouse. Stackhouse. And Maggie from Lost was in it, too, right? Yeah, the chick that's on Fear the Walking Dead right now. Um, and then um, the guy from Black Mirror that had the things in his eyes where he could rewind things that happened and he could see it with his contacts. I don't think I saw that one. Um, it was one of the first seasons of Black oh. Mirror. Um, did anybody besides me see it? No. I saw it. It was okay. I, I had never even heard of this one, so... Okay, so then we won't count that one. Um, the next one, Gringo. Did anybody see Gringo? Yeah, boy, that was way not as good as I was expecting. That's one of the ones where the trailer was way better than the movie. It looked funny. <laughs> it it did, but it was. I don't, Charlize Theron was in it. That Joel Edgerton guy was in yeah, it. Yeah, and then the guy from District 9 was they, in it, right? Oh, Charlo Copley. Charlo Copley. Yeah, it, it looked funny, but I never got around to seeing it. It, it, was, not, it was not good. Terrible. Okay. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Okay, we won't count that one. Uh, the Upside. Does anybody remember a movie called The Upside? I'm getting blank stares, so that's no. Uh, Tomb Raider. The the new Tomb Raider. There's a new Tomb Raider. Yes. Well, yeah. in March there was. Um, oh. <laughs> I I saw it. Um, it oh, was. I remember. Okay. The we're girl, in March. We're just in March. <laughs> yeah, that was the one that had Walton Goggins as the villain, right? Yes, and uh, the girl that played Laura Croft is like some Academy Award winning chick, really young. Uh, I remember Vikander we talked about this, and I think my consensus was 
Her boobs are too small. That was a movie like that. that didn't even need to be remade. Barely needed to be made in the first place. The Were you a one. fan of the Angelina Jolie version? Not the movie, but seeing Angelina Jolie, P- Angelina Jolie running around in that outfit. Did you say when, Angelina Jolie? P? Well, I was trying to say change to peak because that was back Peaks. before Brad Pitt ruined her. I thought Billy Bob Thornton was the one that ruined her. Uh, yeah, really. Oh, Goliath? He was yeah, Goliath is the one that <laughs> kind of made her. Okay, so nobody, I'm not getting any support on Tomb Raider. Yeah, right? No. Okay, so we'll no. skip that one. Come uh, on. <laughs> uh, Love Simon. Did anybody see Love Simon? No. That's the one where the kid's SG. Yeah, he's SGing it up in high school. Um, I did not see it. It uh, doesn't look like anybody else did either, so we'll nope. skip that one. Flower, and does that sound familiar? No. Next. Midnight Sun? No. No. Next. Uh, Pacific Rim Uprising. Uh, yeah, I saw that one. So <laughs> I saw it too, and I actually thought that one was better than the first no, one. Really? Really? You're high. No. The first one was way better. Than no, the first I don't one. think so. I liked the second one. It was all transformed up. That's what I like. It's all I like the same movie. I mean, come no, on. but the first one had Jax Teller in it. This one was had Finn from Star Wars. Well, uh, Charlie, Charlie, you're out on Charlie now. Char- I like Charlie, but he he had more to do in the first one. So you're a no. I thought it was good, and Jesse's I, I would, not. Did you guys even see that no, one? I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't. I no, wouldn't spend no, my money on so it. So we'll no, give that one a no. Uh, Sherlock Gnomes. Bob what? saw that one. What did you think, Bob? Kids movie? Yeah. Thumbs oh. down. Bob is saying thumbs down. How about Isle of Dogs? Yes. Which, not to spoil a future episode, but... It, he, a, it could be coming up later, right? So yeah. Isle of Dogs is an animated movie. Um, directed by who? Wes Anderson. Wes Anderson. Who, Whose best movie, I think, was his first animated movie, Fantastic, Fantastic Mr. Mr. Fox, Fox, which is total greatness. I Love Dogs was good, but I was mildly disappointed. I was expecting it to be greatness, and it was just good. It wasn't great. So you don't want to use your exemption, because I haven't seen it. I won't use an exemption, but I'd give it a thumbs up. I just not I haven't seen it. And it. I don't have a young kid, no, nope, so. Nope. Okay. Uh, so that one we're gonna have to say no, Bob. Okay. Uh, oh. Unsane. Anybody familiar with that Unsane, one? Unsane. No. I think that's the one where the girl is stuck in the mental institute and oh, she thinks that fear. and she thinks. So it's girl interrupted, basically. Pretty much, but she doesn't think she's crazy. Like somebody forced her in there or something. From what I've seen in the trailers, but I haven't seen it. Hmm. Uh, so we'll say no on that one. Uh, Unsane in the membrane. The, which is one of Cypress Hills, like one twenty. Um, <laughs> oh, are you trying to get crazy with this thing? Don't you know I'm local? Unsane in the membrane. Unsane in the membrane. Jeez. <laughs> Ready Player One. Heard a yes. lot about it. Jesse's a yes. I'm a yes too. I thought it okay, was great. You guys go so with much yes. '80s nostalgia. Great action! It was scene. basically live action Wreck It Ralph. I mean, no, I, 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 See, I thought it was Tron. I disagree. Um, I love the book, and I'm I'm a recent you know like everyone had talked about how good the book was the book was, and I had it on my Kindle for probably two or three years, and then just like okay, you Power know, through it. I'll get and I started reading it, and it was immediately uh, captivated by. The, as often the book is better than the movie. Yeah, I always heard great things it about goes, the book. Yeah, I mean, it goes into a lot of 80s. Like the, um, the challenges he has to do, like playing Joust, and it's a lot more. <laughs> and joust. like one of them is he has to um, be in a movie, and he has to do every, like in it's an 80s movie, I think like Ferris Bueller. He has to do everything. Yeah, one of the scenes that he has to do yeah. The Shining. Yeah. Um, and he's in the hotel when the yeah. blood well, is falling. In the, in the book, he actually, the whole movie, he has to say every line as the character in the perfect way or else you fail. And so the only someone fascinated. And besides, they use the Bruce Springsteen song. <laughs> yeah. And, that, um, and it's stand on it. I thought that was it. The ah. Bruce Springsteen songs. Um, yeah, I really like Ready Player One. Um, so much 80s nostalgia. I like when Chucky showed up and started killing everybody. Um, Bob, you saw it, but you didn't like it? No, I did not like it. I just I thought it was okay. I'm kind of indifferent on it. Um, Scott, did you see it? I haven't you seen really it. need to see this one. Okay. This is, I, I agree. All right. 
Um, okay, so we're gonna say yes to Ready Player One. It sounds okay. like we're getting enough positive. Oh, it's like an original. You original need to see song? it. I'll give no. It a try. Oh no. Okay. Um, the next one we're rounding out March. Acrimony. Did anybody see Acrimony? That was another Taraji P Henson movie. Wasn't that one where she was getting all DV'd up? DV'd. Domestic violence. No, oh. I think she was like some kind of revenge wife or something. Revenge because of, wife? Yeah, because the husband was cheating on her or something. I, I didn't oh, see okay. it. It's like Burning Bell. Um, the last one in March, I didn't see Mary Magdalene. Anybody see that? No. It's, too no. it's about the Bethlehem hooker, right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> send, your, send your complaints and feedback to MexicanJunior at gmail.com. All right, so we've, we're done with March. We're moving into April. We're making good progress here. Callous response. Um, the first movie in April, A Quiet Place. I still need to see that. You I, haven't seen I it? I've heard oh that my is God. an amazing it is thriller, right? greatness. I saw all the Office parodies that see, people made I, online. I've heard it. not good things about it. Oh, oh wow. wow! I'm serious. I've heard not. I thought you were doing a place. joke about the not hearing part. Uh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> I, 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 I seriously, I've, I've heard like just not good things. People were just saying that it was boring. That it is kind of a horror movie. Just, Do you want me to tell you that the bad, the good guys win? You can, you can tell me. What <laughs> you, you, it, it hurts me not to hear the end. So nobody movie. signed you good things about it. Okay, um, A Quiet Place is a great movie. It is excellent. Jim Halpert's in it. His wife is in it, although she doesn't whip him out, and she's pregnant half the movie. Um, it, it's solid. You need to see it. Right. I give it a thumbs up. Bob, you haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Jesse, you haven't seen it. Okay, no, I'm going to use it. Yeah, but I, yeah, heard I mean, I give it a, a qualified thumbs up based on it's, what I've heard. It's critically acclaimed. It did really well in the box office. I think we have to count it. Yeah. Um, you Were Never Really Here. That's the Joaquin Phoenix movie, I think, where... He's looking for the kidnapped Oh, girl. yeah. I wanted to see that, but I never I've heard it. critically that it's supposed to be good, but I haven't seen it, and I don't think it did very well in the box office. Did anybody I think it was limited see that one? Very that. limited. Not no. full release. No. All right. So that one's a no. Uh, Lockers, or what it should have been called, called Lockers. Well, they put the logo of the Rooster. Of the oh, rooster. Like, it has John Cena. It has DJ Blu-ray. Yeah, DJ Blu-ray. Um, I forgot who else was in. Oh, Judd uh, Apatow's Le- wife. Yeah, Leslie Mann. Is that Leslie Fake Mann? Man. Yeah. Um, it. I thought it was hilarious. It also has uh, Lumberg and Gina Gershon. Oh yeah, they're and they are full movie. frontal. Gina Gershon. Both of them. They weren't are. full frontal, but they were just going to town. No, they were both full frontal. No, they're not. Gina Gershon. She's a solid. Yeah. You like Gina Gershon? Well, I, yeah. I You're a big do. fan of Showgirls. Um, Bound. Bound. Very nice. Um, but Showgirls, uh, watch it with the sound off. <laughs> I'd give it a thumbs up. You give Blockers a thumbs yeah, up? Yeah, I give Blockers I give it a thumbs up. up. Jesse, you didn't see it. Nope. Scott, you didn't I see it. I haven't seen it. Um, Hoster's Choice. Uh, next up, Blumhouse's Truth or Dare, which I saw. Um, that's the horror Madonna, movie. Madonna, where she's going and talking to Warren Beatty the whole movie in black and white. No, it's a horror movie where they're playing Truth or Dare and it ends up following them. It's one of those teenage horror See, that's completely movies. wrong. That's not ever the way Truth or Dare ever goes. Yeah, and it, it, <laughs> it never it goes was, horror. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty spare, um, so we won't count that one. Uh, Sergeant Stubby, an American hero. That's an animated movie. I didn't even see that one. I have no idea about this one. Okay, so that one's a no. Rampage, the rock movie. Based on the video game. A.K.A. Furious George. <laughs> I thought it was good. It's got a yeah. lot of action. It's funny. The monkey has um, some shake laugh. Ooh. Hey, and pretty much anything with The Rock, I'll, I'll pretty much see. Um, I, I would count Negan it. Negan? Although, I, yeah, Negan is also in it. Um, although, the only thing I didn't like is that they shamelessly put in the video game in the movie for no reason whatsoever. Bob, since you've seen it. You know that part in the office? I, you may not have noticed. There's a video game in the the office of Axelrod's wife during the movie. Uh, you probably didn't yeah, notice I didn't it. Notice. It's in the background, but it, I just thought that was I was, was so too dumb. distracted by her not having blonde hair. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think she looks better as not a blonde, though. No. Um, did anybody else see this besides me and Bob? No. 
No, Jesse, no. 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 I, I keep waiting for you to come to the movie that I saw, but I can't remember what it was. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll probably get to it. Um, so, Hoster's Choice then, right? Did yeah. Did you give it a thumbs up? Yeah, I give it a thumbs up. And I give it a thumbs up. I was up. expecting it to be crappy, and I kind of enjoyed it. Uh, Super Troopers Part 2, did anybody see that? No. I didn't see it, although I want to see it. Was the first one a must-see? It was okay. I think, I think that might be overrated. I hear yeah. people rave about that. And it's, Gary, Gary would say it is... Yeah, he's punching the is, dashboard. Yeah, is he's that the other Apple movie besides Mamma Mia 2? Super Trooper. <laughs> That's a good hour reference. Oh, very that nice. Good and one of Abba's 25, maybe? No. no. Super Trooper. Oh. Okay. You may not think that's funny, but I do, I do, I, I do, do, I do, I do. Scene, Tina, little ballerina. Oh. <laughs> when hey, the zipper Fernando. catches skin, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast case. Uh, so, Duck, Duck, Goose. Did anybody see that? No. Yeah. Uh, traffic. Which I think is the movie. Oh, that's the one with the K. Yeah. Where they were, they were human trafficking. Human trafficking. Did anybody see? No. I haven't oh. seen it. Uh, Disobedience. Is no. that another Taraji P. Henson? No. <laughs> she, <has laughs> she has one movie a month. Uh, Chappaquiddick. I wanted to see that. That had Andy Bernard in it. Yeah, no, that's I the Kennedy seen that. movie. Yeah. Right. Where, where they woo hooed yes. off the bridge. Everybody. Raise your glasses to the senator. To Ted Kennedy in the White House in 72. We're family. There's no more important word. We share a lifetime bond. Did you see that one? I yet? saw that, and it's very good. I heard it was good. I heard it was really good. I think I'm going to give it an uh, unseen thumb up. Unseen thumb up? Yeah, no, it all. was really well done. Um, Wasn't yeah. Bruce Dern the Joseph Kennedy, the dad? Yes, and he's, he's all wheels off, off, and you know they show um, how conflicted Ted was, and then also how he was... You know, just overpowered because he's the youngest. You know, and so they force his everything. hand to not report the the death, or he um, didn't call nine one one fast bit, enough. Uh, it's a little bit of both. Era, I, you know, era. I I liked it a lot, so I thought it was era. Good. She's not breathing. Era. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I remember that 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 is the first thing I remember of kind of like bizarre out there political opinions. Yeah. Like in the early 80s, a friend of mine, his dad, we, were, we went to Louisiana for something, and we had to stop on the way back. He was picking up, some, I think, a gun or something in some guy's house. And he had all these right-wing bumper stickers on the <laughs> wall, and most of them had to do with Chappaquiddick. And it was like, dine em, dick em, and dunk em, and all this stuff. <laughs> like, you know, like, like. That's shake <laughs> um, So back in the day, and this is a ticket connection, um, I had a couple of friends who worked for... Um, the FM station in Lake Charles, Nova 104. And, um, you know, being an album-oriented rock station, you can imagine. uh, And there was a bumper sticker, more people have died in Ted Kennedy's car than (laughs) than in nuclear (laughs) accidents. That's shake laugh. Okay, so Chappaquiddick, we're giving a thumbs up, Scott. Yes. I have not seen it. Yeah. That's not the movie that you saw that you don't remember? No, that was about. not the movie that I saw that I don't remember what it was. All right, uh, the next one, probably my favorite movie of the year so far, Avengers Infinity War. Yes. Yes. Big yeah. thumbs up for me. Bob, yeah, I think up. this is a first yeah. ballot. Scott, yeah, I, first I ballot. need to review it. Yeah. But it's, you really need scenes. to get caught up on everything beforehand. Yes. It really is. Why, why, why do you say you have to see everything? Because everything ties into everything. You can't skip. All right, so that one's a, a, a definite thumbs up, and again, probably my favorite movie this year. Uh, Dolphins. Did anybody see a movie called Dolphins? No. no. <laughs> Larry Zonka. And... <laughs> Mercury Morris. Yeah, Mercury Morris. Uh, I feel pretty. The Amy Schumer movie, oh. where she has a concussion, she's all CTE'd up, and she thinks she's hot. All of a sudden, yeah. I did see this movie. I think it was would okay, you? and I would. Um, 
But it wasn't as good as the other movie she did. What was the other one from a few years back? Snatched. S- no, not Snatched. <laughs> no, uh, Although I did with, see Snatched. The one it wasn't with terrible. the LeBron and yeah. uh, oh, Trainwreck. Trainwreck. Yeah, train wasn't as good as Trainwreck. Um, Trainwreck about, was pretty solid. Tony yeah, Romo was, was in that too, remember? Yeah, yeah it was all sports was stuff. Trainwreck? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Trainwreck. And um, it, it's because, about on par with Snatched. Okay. Um, but I wouldn't fight hard for it. Did any of you guys see it? She uh, show any of the... Uh, yes, there is... Full frontal on Amy really? Schumer, if you're interested. Yes. You understand what full frontal means, right? Yes. Like, not just boobs, the whole yeah, thing. Yes. The how, how are you forgetting the Gina Gershon non-full frontal? And for that matter, Lump, were you closing your eyes? <laughs> Lumberg was full frontal too? I, remember, I think I remember Lumberg, but her, she had like brawn panties or something. Uh, you need to revisit um, Animal Crackers. Did anybody see a movie called Animal Crackers? No, but I had them in my soup one time. Yeah, Animal Crackers Ooh. are actually really tasty. Isn't that a uh, Marx Brothers movie? Uh, isn't that Duck Soup or something? Duck Soup duck was. Soup. Animal duck? Cracker was, was uh, Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple, yes. Animal Crackers in my soup. Lions and tigers. Loop de loop. Animal Crackers in my soup. Lions and tigers. One. Okay, so that takes care of April. We're, we're making progress here. We're into May. Um, so the first movie in May, Overboard, which is the remake of the uh, Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell. So, really? I love the original. Yeah. The, it was no because, Captain Ron. Because the great line of, I slept with you on the first date. He's like, well, I don't know if you call it a date. It was the parking lot of the 7-Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> um, Come on, you jumped my bones the first night we met. We did it on the first date? Well, I couldn't call it a date, really. We just did it right there in the parking lot of the 7-Eleven. I'm a slut. Huh? Nothing. I want to see that. It I've was good. It. I've seen it. I've Who's in it? Yeah. Um, it has Anna Ferris. Eva Longoria. Eva Longoria, and I forgot the name of the, the Mexican Eugene guy. Eugene Derbez or Yeah, whatever. so in this version, it's reverse. The guy yeah. loses his memory, and the girl takes advantage of him. Um, she's upset because uh, he it's fires impossible. her from cleaning her carpets in his yacht. Um, but it's it's pretty funny. I would give this one a thumbs up, but I won't fight too hard. I don't know. I, I want to see it, so I think that's so enough yes. for me. Un- yes. Sight unseen. Yes. Hoster's choice. Wow! If yeah. you wish, if you wish, I'm going to give it a yes. Well, so to much, add your numbers. So much Paddington two going on. Yes. <laughs> Tully. Did anybody see Tully? The I Charlie Theron movie. I wanted to see that. Critically it's acclaimed. Diablo Cody. Yeah, supposedly it's a really good movie. Um, Charlie Theron's all single momed up and or something like Peter that. And Peter Gibbons, her, her husband, in yeah, that. Yeah, and I think the chick from Black Mirror is in it. The, yeah, the, the yeah the one from the one that's in the new Terminator that's coming out. There's a new Terminator. Yeah, there's coming a new out? Terminator with Linda Hamilton also. Oh, oh really? But, yeah, but no, she was also in The Martian. She was the one. Yeah, yeah, and she was. Uh, what's the name of that episode in Black Mirror? Saint San Junipero. San Junipero. She was um, SGing it up with some. Did anybody see chip. Tully? No, no. no. Heard good things. Didn't I've it. heard good things too, but I'm not going to give this one a sight unseen. Uh, Life of the Party, which is the Melissa McCarthy movie where she goes back to college. Back Anybody to see that? Back to school. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 I didn't. GTA I want to see it because it sounds funny. But did she I, win the diving uh, competition? Yeah. Did she do the triple Lindy? <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, where'd you go, Bernadette? Anybody see that mm, or heard of it? No. All right. Uh, next up, my probably my second favorite movie of the year, Deadpool Two. That's the one. Oh, <laughs> how did you forget Deadpool 2's greatness? <laughs> and, it, and what's uh, wheels off is I don't think he saw Deadpool 1. No, I saw Deadpool 1. Okay. Now, you've got to like oh, wait, those, I, I would think. Yeah, I saw Deadpool 1, um, and I did see Deadpool 2. Seems like and, that's in line with your sense of humor. And, yeah? and I enjoyed Deadpool 2. I, I did. And there yeah. wasn't an issue of uh, uh, not understanding, because I didn't read Deadpool. I didn't read that. Scott, we're going to give you the floor since this is the only movie that you can comment <laughs> on. But I, I, I was, I was quite impressed with it. Um, I, I liked the ending because spoiler alert. Spo- should, should I? You know. Yeah, spoiler alert. Uh, Cable reverses the time. Yeah. They fight. Uh, 
the Juggernaut. He kills Green Lantern. He kills Green Lantern. <laughs> he kills. He kills exactly. the other version of Deadpool from the Wolverine movie. Right <laughs> after the credits, lots of shake laugh there with time play and stuff like that. Jesse, I think you saw Deadpool two also, right? I did not see. <gasps> oh wow! Big whoa, whoa, whoa. I just haven't had a chance, but I will vote for it. Also, because the um, Marina Baccarat. Oh yeah! Uh, yes. Oh yeah! You're a big P one. She right, yeah. is just so boy. Enjoy her. So well, she of. does make a comeback. Um, but the parachute scene—that's that was. That's the most. <laughs> When they're all, and we're spoiling it for Jesse, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, it for Jesse. That's all right. No, no, no. Um, all right. Fresh. Next up, uh, Solo, a Star Wars story. Did anybody see that? Yeah, I do not know why everyone hated it. I thought it was fine. Um, I didn't hate it. Yeah, I think I there was, was a lot of negative buzz ahead yeah, of time. I, you know, I, I liked it better than Rogue One. Whoa, that's blows the lid off. I thought Rogue One was better, but I yeah. didn't hate it. I think people's... Um, opinion on how good those Star Wars movies are supposed to be is way too high right now. People's expectations are it has to be yes. the greatest yes. movie ever. They're expecting it to be along the lines of the first three. And everything has to be that way or I mean at least no they're holding it to Force Awakens and Last Jedi. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed I, it. I thought it was yeah. good too. I, I like, would count it. Even though the guy that plays young Han Solo, I don't think he looks anything like um Old He's probably Solo. older than Harrison Ford was when he was Han Solo. <laughs> yeah, it just, yeah. they, they just don't look similar at all. That's the only thing that I thought was a little wheel. Chewbacca had lots of good shtick. And he looked like he did in the original Star Wars movies, too. Huh. Yeah, Chewbacca hasn't aged. He hasn't aged at all, amazingly. All right, so we're going to give Solo... And I want to see that one. You want I do want to see that so one. So Sight Unseen, you're a yes. I'm yes. yes. You're, everybody's a yes. We'll count that one. Uh, breaking in? Did anybody see Breaking In? Is that like no. Breaking Two? Well, no, Electric break, Boogaloo. Breaking In was the one where Walt White sells the math, and then Breaking, breaking Bad. Bad. No, wait, Breaking In is the remake with. Um, never mind. I, I think it's the movie. I tread lightly with. Yeah, that it was the movie where they're all riding uh, bicycles across the, country. Is that the uh, the guy that breaking did away. the <laughs> Dr Pepper songs? Breaking it. That's <laughs> the American Werewolf the American Werewolf yeah. another guy yeah breaking it making it yeah. um, show dogs anybody see show dogs no no book club no, no. alright hey we're out of May we're into June only All a couple right. of months left yeah, um, by Oceans 8 did anybody see Oceans 8 I want to see that a lot. I just have not gone. I'm the yes. same boat. I want to see it because I saw the other Oceans movies, but I haven't gotten around to it. And Sorry. I'm a fan of all the actresses in it. Well, Jesse's a big Aquafina fan. Yes. So you're a uh, sight unseen, yes? Yes. I'm a sight unseen, yes. Bob? Uh-huh. I haven't seen it. I mean... I'll... 2SG? No, I mean, I'm, I don't know. I mean, I'll see it if I, I have to, but... I, I, I have no interest in seeing yeah. it. You know what? I, I just don't see the point. It, it, the movie was made. The movie. Why do we have to have another one that's got? We have to have a chick. female version for why? all of our V ones. Well, I, I love. Are you the, anti V ones? No, I yeah, love the V ones. Really. But get your own movie. You know, just get your own. All right. So you know what? I'm going to say no then. Okay. Because it, it, we're all sight unseen. Um, Incredibles two. Yeah, that was solid. That Heard was. great stuff about it. Did you see the original Incredibles? Yes, I did. Scott? I, did I think it, it was made before Coco. <laughs> yes, it was made before Coco. And it was very good. One of the best superhero movies ever made. Incredibles 1? One? Yeah. Um, you know, a great Fantastic Four movie, you could make the argument. Better than uh, any of the Fantastic Four. Yeah, way better than the Fantastic yeah, Four. Um, which you know, I have Brad seen Bird the from Iron Giant. Yeah. Which, by the way, Ready Player One has a great Iron Giant, Iron yeah. Giant uh, scene. So, yeah, absolutely. Iron Giant. Top five animated movie ever. I agree. Oh, and it's, it's awesome. one of Vin Diesel's ten. <laughs> yeah. Vin Groot. Diesel. Are you counting Groot? Yeah, I'm counting Groot. Um, okay, so Incredibles 2, I'm going to give a thumbs up. It was yeah. greatness. Uh, Tag, which was mentioned earlier, because yes. it is based on a true story. The Tom Greaves story. And it looks interesting. What? The Tom that Gre- is nice. The that Tom Greaves nice. autobiography. I don't I even think. get that. Is that a, the they name of his book? Tag. Do they? You know, on the... His, the you initials know. are T-A-G, so they yeah. call them T-A-G. Ah, okay. That's hilarious. No, I thought it was pretty good. 
<laughs> it scored well with Jesse. Yes. All right, so tag I would give the thumbs up. I thought it was funny. It has Jeremy Renner. It has... John Hamm. John Madman. Hamm. Uh, it has Andy Bernard. Yeah. It has the guy Hannibal from New Burris. Girl. It has a Hannibal Burris. Oh, Jake Johnson. Jake Johnson's in it. Um, I thought it was really funny. Rashida Jones But in the it. star of that movie, Isla Fisher. Oh, Borat's wife? Borat's wife. Very hot, very funny. Okay. She does um, have good stick in it. So you're a yes, Bob? Yeah, that was I'm funny. A yes. That was a funny movie. Scott, it looks interesting to me. You should see it. Jesse? Uh, sure. All right. We're gonna <laughs> give... <laughs> what the hell? We, we should have a show where we, we watch a movie. We oh, need to have more. We all watch the same movie. But the movie's not playing. We just comment on the movie. What's even better, we should have regular field trips where we all go see, go to the movies together and watch a movie. That's what we, we can need do to that. be doing. We yes. can do that. Um, all right, next up, June was a heavy month as far as blockbusters. Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom. I'm Jurassic out, man. Did you see I it? have not seen it, but I want to see it. I'm the same boat. I want to see it as dinosaur. I, I like... Star Lord, but I'm a dinosaur. Even now. after what he did in Avengers: Infinity War, you're still in on Star Lord. No spoilers. Um, I thought Jurassic World was pretty good. I liked it. Okay. It wasn't as good as the first Jurassic World that was the remake from 2015, but I had enough good action in it to keep me interested. Now, did Opie's daughter look pretty solid in that? Yes, she so, definitely looked better than she did in Black Mirror. I'll tell you that. So, how about how about her versus Jessica Chastain since they're doppelgangers? She's hotter than Jessica. Chastain. Oh wow! It's like blow it up. Right to there. me, anyway. Um, she looks younger too. Uh, all right, so Jurassic World, we're going to give a thumbs up. Sicario Two, Soldado, Day of the Soldado. That was the one with um, Benicio del Toro um, and Thanos, and Thanos, and Cab- he's also Cable. Um, what's his What's his real name? Josh, Josh Brolin. Brolin. Um, it's, a, it's a great movie. Did anybody see the original Sicario here? I No. Besides me? The original Sicario was one that had Jim Halpert's wife in it, right? Yes. And she's not in this one. Sicario 2 is really good. I'll have to, I'll use an exemption if I have to. Okay. I don't know what it is. You, you need to see it. It's good. It's like cartel stuff. Oh, oh I remember. Lots of... Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. it's good. Uh, Valley Girl remake? I don't even remember seeing that. No. Uh, no. Uncle Drew... I saw Uncle Drew. You said it was good. I thought it was funny. It was really good to me. It has Shaq. It has Reggie Miller. Is it, it has worth Nate eight Robinson. Bucks? Eight bucks. It, it may not be worth full price at the theater, we'll but the it's, 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 it's worth a it's worth a watch. I'll, I'll say I'll say that. Well, it, it could come on TBS, and you could say it's worth a watch. You know, it wasn't a bad movie. It was better than I thought it was going to be. See, to me, it's like it's it's got to be worth my eight bucks, and that doesn't. That's a good criteria right there. Okay, so I mean, I won't fight too hard for it, even though I liked it. Nobody I mean, else I'll saw see it, right? it at some point, and I heard it was funny. But All right, so we'll give that one another. I can't give it a sight in. Um, upgrade. I saw that. That was the movie where the, it's an action movie where the guy is has a computer implant or something that makes him fight really good or something like that. I haven't seen it. It's Matrix. all AI. It's a lot of AI. Like stuff. The Matrix. It looks interesting. <laughs> so Bob, you're the only one that probably saw this. The story was interesting. You know, some of the effects were okay, but a lot of unknown cast. I mean, I enjoyed it for what it was. But you won't no. fight too hard on it? Because no. I don't think anybody else has seen it. No. Okay. I, I'm pretty lukewarm. Another one that I think only you have seen, Action Point. Who has controversial? Like the risky point? I, it's Johnny Knoxville. It's basically a Jackass oh. movie, for all intents and purposes. I'm out. And I am a big, big fan of Jackass. I love all that shtick. They're like the modern day Three Stooges, those guys. But... It was just, it, yeah. This, now I will tell you, I wanted to see it. I mean, I I would. It wasn't completely unfunny. I mean, there was some funny stuff in it. Was there a lot? Of, yeah. What this place needs is an excitement enema. We're gonna make this place fast and loose. Every ride, steady go. Every attraction, no rules, no speed limits, just pure fun. That sounds kind of dangerous. Let's see what this baby can do. Yeah, there was, and my son thought it was hilarious. Of course, it, he's you know kids are gonna think that's love. Yeah, um, but I'm not gonna give it. it uh, I'm not gonna count it. Yeah, my okay. son thought that. It, it, let's put it this way: it was in the dollar movie 
two weeks after I saw it opening weekend. Oh, yeah. It definitely weekend. did not do well in the box office. It did really bad, like extra bad at the box and office. And there was no critical acclaim. No. So we'll say no on that one. Another movie that only Bob has probably seen, Hereditary. Yeah. that's one. That, that one has got a lot of critical acclaim. And my wife and I went and saw that. And afterward, I, I was telling her, I'm like, I swear I heard this was good. And we looked it up, and Rotten Tomatoes like ninety percent, Metacritic's like eighty nine, and yeah, we, it's and a we lot of both good. hated that movie. It was so stupid. But you know, there were some scenes in there that I think Junior will double over and laugh pretty hard at. What but, all the beheadings? Yeah, that? well, no spoilers, but the the whole basically what was bad about it was the what the whole thing behind. What was causing everything? It was so stupid. Can you be more oblique than that? Yeah, I don't want to spoil it <laughs> I, for anybody. I want to see it. It sounds interesting. It's another horror movie, and Scott, I can't guarantee that the good guys win. So, but you're the only one that's seen it. Are you going to I'm go not, hard for it? No, no. I'm, not, I'm gonna thumbs, thumbs down. Thumbs down. You're yeah. gonna thumbs down it. Okay, then we won't count it. I don't know how it's gotten such good reviews. I really don't. It's how just, about? Stupidest ending. Superfly. Did anybody see the Superfly remake? No, that's no. one they didn't need to remake either. The Hustle. Did anybody remember a movie called The Hustle? Um, Adrift, which is that movie where uh, Shailene Woodley is out on that boat. Yeah, getting all sunburnt up. Yeah, all sunburned out. Did anybody see that one? Uh Uh-uh. Looked Uh interesting. I would see that, but... Um, I drift is a good title for this episode. Is this the one with the uh, <laughs> the sail? They're taking they're taking a trip across, around the world on a sailboat. Uh, a sailboat, yeah. yeah. And uh, apparently they run into a storm or something, and the guy gets really hurt. So she has to like try and get them to land, but they're dying of one. Red, uh, all is lost. Robert Redford. Yeah, he was by in himself. This, yeah, in this the same movie. Pretty yeah. much. Pretty I, much. I, yeah. I liked All Is Lost. But if I, All Is Lost was on this list. Then it would be in, it. but yeah, not okay. this one. Okay. All right. Uh, Best Friends. Anybody remember a movie called Best Friends? Best Friends. Hotel Artemis, which is the one with Jodie Foster and Charlie. Drax the Destroyer. The Hotel yeah. Artemis. <laughs> <laughs> that one looked interesting, and it has Jodie Foster in it, in which she usually gives a very prime and stellar performance. And it looked interesting, but I haven't seen it. So it's, yeah, it's a hotel it that's run by that full throttle fat chick from, from It's Always, Always Sunny. Sunny. That's Always the first thing I thought of, too. Uh, she or, the, hotel. or the drummer from Leonard Skinner. Does he. <laughs> Which one? There's two. Ar- Artemis Pyle. <laughs> so um, I did not see that one. We won't do sight unseen. Uh, won't You Be My Neighbor? Mm. I heard good things. I've heard, heard good things. I want to see that uh, a lot. So I'm going to give a side yeah, unseen. Yeah, side unseen. Yeah, let's give it a thumbs up. You it's know what? Great. I'll agree with you. Stay so hard, I, Mr. Rogers. Because That's my numbers right. are not looking good right now. Uh, all right, we're in the July. We're almost there. Uh, so in July, the first purge. Did anybody see the first purge or no. any of the other purges for that matter? I saw the first one. You saw the first purge? Yeah, and it, it was an interesting premise. And then it just, it's just, I don't like dark movies like that. And this is like the fifth iteration of The Purge. How many well, Purges? From, and from what I understand, this one actually explains the, the underlying original Purge. The yeah. original Purge, think, the underlying theme of the original Purge. I think I enjoyed, an orig- I enjoyed the earlier versions several years ago before it wasn't so much of a documentary. As it is now. <laughs> 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 Jesse no, Jesse thought he could say, thumbs up. Yeah, it's a little too. Realistic for my liking today, you know. All right, so we'll give that one a thumbs down. Uh, Ant Man and the Wasp, which is probably my third favorite movie. Up. Big yes. thumbs, thumbs up. up. Yes. I haven't seen it yet. You need to mix that one in. All right. And everything ties in everything. Everything ties in everything. Ties in everything. Okay. All right, so that one's a yes. Uh, Skyscraper, the other rock movie this year. That's the one where he's got a fake leg. Yeah, the people's peg it's, leg. It's Die Hard. It's towering Inferno. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a mixture of Die Hard and Towering Inferno, yeah, basically. I say no. With a peg leg. 
Um, I would say yes, because I thought it was good. Does, it, does he have a machine gun peg leg? No. <laughs> like uh, like Planet Terror. The, yeah, Planet Terror. Uh, where What's-Her-Face. Rose, uh, Rose McGowan. Rose McGowan. Had the peg leg machine gun. Um, he should have aimed, she ah, aimed at a Weinstein, McGowan. right? Okay, um, so you're a no, Jesse. Bob, yeah. you're a no. I'm a yes, but Scott's a no. All right. Hotel Transylvania 3, Summer Vacation. Yeah, I, I want to see it. I saw that. I, I saw like the it. other two, but I haven't yeah. seen this one. I mean, one. if you like the first two, you'll like this one. It's all... The, the yeah, stick is the very same. similar. And, it, and it's so cool stick. It yeah, I give it a thumbs up. It's enjoyable enough. Scott? I, I want to see that one. Yeah, side There's some good lines in it. Jesse? Eh. Jesse's a man... I'm going to give it a sight unseen thumbs up. Just because uh, you want to pad your numbers. I'm, I'm padding Tim Barrett my numbers. Eighth grade, which I've heard, yeah, I heard good really things. good Eighth things, grade. critically acclaimed, but I have not seen it. I know nothing about it. It's it's a, it's like a teenage angst movie. It's, it's this year's Lady Bird, right? Except it's in middle Lady school. Bird. Breakfast Club. Um, it's supposed to be really good, but I haven't seen it. So It's, an, it's a movie about eighth grade starring a girl... Who's actually in eighth grade in real life? I mean, like it's not casting, you know, thirty year old thirty year old playing it. Yeah, year. yeah. <laughs> All right, so that one's a no. Uh, next, don't worry, he won't get far on foot. I want to see that. That's got Joaquin Phoenix all wheelchaired up and Jonah Hill's SG as his counselor and I, I know clarity and suits. I think I heard it's a Gus Van Sant movie. I think I heard something about this one that it was very polarizing. That there were people who just hate it. But you and can say that walked about a lot out. of Well, I mean, like, movies. walked out on it. As in, this that makes no sense, that kind of a thing. Yeah. So, you want to say yes? No, no, I, I can't do a side on scene on that one. But I do want to see it. Okay, I'll say no on that one then. Uh, the Equalizer 2. I saw The Equalizer 1 and 2. I thought it was good, but, again, I love action movies. Denzel Washington plays a really good action hero. So Denzel in this. Washington plays a guy that installs car stereos. You made this joke last time, and then I made the joke. He's fighting diarrhea because it's the great, the great equalizer. equalizer. Okay, um, I, I, I like it. The bunny. Yeah, that, the yeah, the bunny. bunny. No, Jacko. So, <laughs> boy, does anybody want to give Equalizer two a thumbs up besides me? No. No. Oh, dang it! And I, I don't want to use Edward Woodward or GTFO. Um, one movie that was referenced earlier, Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again. Not a chance. Terrible. Not a chance. So SG. Uh, blind Spotting. Anybody see Blind Spotting? Not Train Spotting. Not Train Spotting. Um, okay. Didn't so is that it. like Stevie Wonder gets addicted to heroin? Is that what that <laughs> That's pretty good stick, actually. I won't add the silence into that one. Dang it. Um, Mission Impossible, Fallout. Yeah, Fallout. Fallout Boy. Thumb up. I saw it too. I haven't seen it. Uh, Have you seen any of the other Mission Impossible? I think I've seen one, but I'm kind of out. This I is like, like the, all of them. I like all and of them. So too. yeah, so I. This is you know I want to go see it. Okay. You know we'll Tom get... Cruise may not be the world's best actor, but he's a hell of a stuntman. I'll give him that. Yeah, and he actually broke his ankle during the filming of yeah. this. I think when he's jumping from that one window into the next building. Hey, yeah. Jackie Chan, man, I mean, come on. I, I How like many Tom times Cruise. Jackie I mean, Chan maybe a, a jackass in real life. I don't know, but I, I like it. He's, I have a hard he's time celebrity funding. Johnny Knoxville, right? Because he's doing I all pretty... stunts. <laughs> Boy, that would be shake laugh to have like big budget jackass where like Tom Cruise is doing <laughs> firecrackers up his butt. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <doing the light. laughs> Dang it. What are you waiting for? I'm jumping out a window. What do you mean you're jumping out of a? Oh, sorry, I had it in 2D. Good luck. <laughs> Boy, that movie does have a lot of that too, right? Like, yeah. woo, and Superman. Superman's in it. Um, uh, but enjoy him. Well, well you and, him. you know, he's not, he's got ulterior motives there. All right, uh, Teen Titans go to the movies? I just saw that Sunday. What do you and? think? And lots of shake laugh. So you give that one a thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really silly. It, like it's got, it's really funny. There's like a Stan Lee cameo, even though it's a DC movie. That's shaped. Well, that's, that's, that's pretty. Funny. Is it animated? Yeah. Okay. And don't they keep confusing the bad guy with Deadpool throughout the movie too? Like it's supposed to be Deadpool. Yeah, right? it's Will Arnett doing that voice, so it's shake laugh. 
Okay, you know what? Do you want to give it a thumbs yeah, up? Yeah, I'll give it a thumbs I'll up. I'll give it a sight unseen. I always Jesse, win. it's a DC movie, yes. so you have to give exactly. it a thumbs up. Haven't seen it. I mean, it's, it's sight funny. unseen. It's a kids movie. Yeah, I'm not going to give it a thumbs up. It's funny. It's really so You're funny. outvoted, Scott. Oh, All right. Uh, last one, Hot Summer Nights. Anybody... Does that sound familiar to anybody? One with that. Summer loving, having a blast. Summer loving, having a blast. Summer loving, having a blast. Chalamet guys in that where he's just some drug dealer or something. Eh, not familiar. All indie dev. All right, and then we're already in August. The only movie I've seen in August so far, The Spy Who Dumped Me. Which is the one with Mila Kunis. That looks funny. And Kate McKinnon. It was funny, but I don't know that it was worth theater price. It may be okay. more of a dollar movie, download only. Um, but I would give it a thumbs up just because I thought it had some pretty humorous moments. Scott? It didn't look interesting to me. Either. No? Um, this is nudity. Bob? I'm not, I'm there not. is nudity in the movie, by the way. Really? It's a rated R, yes. Um, you probably don't want to know, though. It's oh, it's guy. It's, it's not the guy. right. It's not the right kind of nudity. Oh no! <laughs> Full wang. I'm out. Um, Jesse, you said you did want to see it. Do you want to give it a sight unseen thumbs up? Uh, no, no. All right. Um, and then rounding out the, the rest of the month, even though we probably none of us have seen these, Christopher Robin, which I know is a, has a soft spot in your heart because yes. of the song Christopher right. Robin, and you're all oh, the Kenny Loggins, yes. great song. Christopher Robin and I uh, walk alone. I, I bet you the. Christopher Robin and I uh, walk alone. Under branches lit up by the moon. Um, but I have not seen that movie. Uh, the Darkest Minds just recently came oh, out. That looks terrible. Um, all right, so just rounding out the numbers, if you guys want to kind of vent for a little bit while I add everything up. I will. Right. Is there anything. That you know of that's coming out that you're really looking forward to, like in uh, the next couple months. Um, you know, I can't think of anything right offhand. Um, well, I know. So uh, the Meg doesn't do anything for it. No, <laughs> uh, one of the DC movies that falls into the DC universe is going to be coming out. Oh, Aquaman. Aquaman. I'm surprised. Is it this year? It's in December. Yeah. Ah, and Shazam. I like Oh, the, the Shazam, Shazam trailer. Oh, I think yeah, that's that looks good. Both of them look Yeah, really that looks really good. See, Shazam has always been one of those comic book characters that I just hated. Did you Did you used to watch the show in the 70s? Yes. With, yes. Yeah, with Isis. Whoa, I, Isis. Isis. Isis just, whoa. Uh-huh. Well, Isis, she, yeah, they, uh, Had a little side gig and, going, too. And who was the... Uh, the it's a very the, unfortunate name. Uh-huh. Who were the... Uh, the, 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 uh, oh, the, the duo... Dinah Girl and Electro Woman and Electro Dinah, Girl. Dinah Girl. That was all the oh. Sid Marty Croft yeah, stuff. But yeah, but they were hot stuff, man. Deidre Hall was uh, yeah. Electro Yeah, she was. I, I liked uh, Dinah Girl myself. Yeah. But anyway, Shazam. Shazam! It, it just, I, I, I just, I always. Pile! Shazam! Pile! Shazam! Pile! Shazam! I hated the name, first of all. I thought the name was kind of dumb. But the fact that they live in Winnebago. Yeah, it's like, call him Captain Marvel. Don't call him Shazam. Yeah. Well, the reason yeah. why is because of legal reasons right. with uh, the Marvel. Yeah, see, and the Captain Marvel in the, the Marvel world, I thought he was incredibly cool and badass. Well, aren't they having a Captain Marvel, but it's a chick? She is yeah, now. it's a yes. female, right? Which again, I'm. Okay. And I think she's there was a, a refer- big, and She's going to be a big player, right? Because there was their reference at the yes, the payoff, payoff for Avengers: Infinity, Infinity War is Infinity basically War, yeah. X Men: Dark Phoenix is coming out in November. I would like it. It is wow. Yeah, I Creed see Two. That. I liked Creed a lot, so yes. I would see Creed Two. Uh, uh, Venom. Stuff. Venom looks like a big must see. The Tom Hardy Venom. Into the Spider Man Verse. Oh, that's the animated Spider-Man. Um, the uh, Happy Time Murders. That oh, looks the, really funny. That looks interesting. I've been seeing yeah. those too. Uh, oh, yeah. Mary Poppins Returns. That could be interesting. The uh, Wreck-It Ralph Part 2. I'm oh, interested yeah, in yeah, that. I remember that. Yeah. Fantastic Beasts Part 2 I'm interested in. Yeah, I would Fantastic want that too. Beast. It's uh, a Harry Potter prequel. The Girl yeah. in the Spider's Web, which is the sequel to The Girl they with the Dragon Tattoo. They one of those out there trying to reboot that franchise, and then it fails, and they try another one with another chick. It's How like, about Bohemian Rhapsody? Yes. yes. With Mr. Robot. I'm yes. all the way in on that. The trailers look really good. I think it looks good, too. Yeah. Um, the Halloween remake. 
Nah. Yeah, Kenny Powers. I'll get, I and, like the and, gun she is. Well, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is in it, too. I know. Yeah. How about Overlord, the J.J. Abrams? Seems like it may be connected to Cloverfield movie. That's the one where it's World War Two and the zombies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. And they played uh, Hell's Bells in the trailer. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That movie looks good. I haven't, seen, looks I haven't good. seen that one. Uh, Bumblebee, the Transformers no. movie. No. No, I think no, that looks good. No, <laughs> no more I'm Transformers. There never should have been any Transformers. Spare us franchise ever. Wow. I'm with you. All right, so I've added up all of our movies, and I'm very disappointed by this very low number. What is it, like 20? 26. Ah, so... Scott so is our Scott. winner. At 23. Yeah, Jesse, yeah, Jesse almost got it. He had 28, but... Your harsh critiquing of movies has <laughs> finally paid yeah. off. This is the first one I've ever won. 26 Very with nice. heavy padding. Very, well, I don't think so. Oh, I, there think, was, there I was, think there was a lot of underselling. In there was a lot of sight unseen. A lot of, <laughs> there was some heavy, heavy padding. So what are, what are we at? About an hour 45 on here? Uh, one hour, 11 minutes. Oh, wow. Heavy padding. Not too bad. <laughs> in Jesse's estimation, that's 30 minutes too long. Well, we'll have to maybe do a two-part. Maybe an hour too long. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jesse hates these All right, well, with that, we will sign off and we <laughs> yes, will see hey, you guys you. next time. Uh, by the way, we never did introduce yourself. Yeah, I am Jesse that. Jackson. I am Junior, otherwise known as Mexican Junior. I am Scott. I'm Bob. And uh, reach out to us on Twitter. We um, can email us. Um, we're gonna in the coming weeks. We're gonna have a YouTube channel where you can leave comments there. In addition to whipping us with on Twitter. You can whip us through email, although I have not gotten any emails oh. to our how many podcasts. But the good thing is, we used that email and turned it into the YouTube channel. Okay. Because it was okay. a Gmail account. And um, at um, how many on Twitter. And so I'm yeah. at Jesse Jackson DFW. I think that's it. For yeah. Daughter. With right. that, we will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Delicious things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and the candy. So let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat.